Hello everybody, welcome back to another HP Gaming Game Link video and we are super excited today. Something uh, to do with Marvel? No spoilers, no spoilers. Uh, it's a little bit hard to contain our excitement because we always love it when we get some releases. Uh, we have let the cat out of the bag. We're going to jump straight into it today, folks. We're going to be flying around, we're going to be doing all sorts of attacks and launching, taking the battle to the enemy as we unbox the newest hero pack for Marvel Champions, the card game, Wasp. Hello everyone, welcome back. As you should know by now, my name is Matt and this is our junior gamer, Charlotte. Charlotte, and Blair we are here today. Blair is having a bit of a nap, but that's okay. We are here today to take you through the unboxing of the hero pack for Wasp for Marvel Champions, the card game. Very excited to get into this one now. Unfortunately, uh, just before Christmas, we received the Ant-Man pack and Charlotte couldn't join us for that unboxing, but uh, we are here to make amends today and get her back into the thick of things. Um, Without further ado, I mean, look, Marvel Champions is evolving over time. Um, this is the second release that was meant to be come out last year and COVID and everything else has all been a bit crazy. Um, what we're most excited about with the Wasp pack is that it has a team-up card, mm -hmm. which is compatible with the Ant-Man pack, and it's the first time that mechanic's really going to come into play. Uh, so I'm very excited to get Ant-Man and the Wasp to the table yeah. and see how they go. Yes, that's the Nemesis set. So we'll, we don't no, don't spoil it for everybody. We'll open it up and see how we go. Um, true to form, there is all sorts of manner of goodies in here. The 60 card pre-built deck, extra cards that I'm excited to get into as well. Um, I'm talking too much. I want to know what's inside. Let's uh, get down close and have a look. All right, let's get into it. First and foremost, here it is. We have given up a bit of a bit distance so we can show you the cards when they're in full. Uh, there is the pack there with the artwork on it. It is awesome. Uh, the back of the cards, uh, back of the pack there. Um, the pack is not the important part, obviously. The cards are what's most important. Mm -hmm. Now, Charlotte, as I said, wasn't here for the Ant-Man one, so she doesn't know about a certain ability with the cards, the hero cards. Um, that uh, we'll talk about in just a moment. But first things first, we're going to get into these awesome bits of artwork they put in there. Look at that. Now, it is the same artwork that's on the front of the pack. So this is in every hero pack. Remember the one from Hulk as well, which is very cool. So this is, um, the, I, I just love the, the comic book style artwork that's here. It's ripped straight out of the comics, which is great. Then you've got all the different details and rules. Uh, Wasp is an aggression character as a base, but obviously you can mix and match that with your deck building, which is fabulous. We'll put her up there on display. In fact, let's go this way. Okay, then we'll open the pack and we'll get rid of it. Oops, we're throwing things away left, right, and center today because I'm so excited. Yep. Yes. <laughs> Otherwise known as Kate from Lost, if you're a fan of the MCU. All right. Uh, Charlotte has no idea what I'm talking about, but that's okay. We're going to get in here. I didn't have my trusty pocket knife with me for this one, but that's okay because we don't need it. Now, I'm going to blow Charlotte's mind in a moment, folks. For those of you that have looked at the Ant-Man pack, you'll know what I'm talking about. First things first, Charlotte. Plastic goes on the floor. On the floor. So... Uh, this is the artwork, which is obviously something we know about. We've already seen it on the on the cards uh, here. This is the Wasp uh, Hero card. Uh, five hand size, 11 hit points, which I think is similar to Ant-Man as well. One thwart, one attack, two defense. Small but mighty after Wasp or any event that you play defeats a minion or a side scheme. You can deal one damage to the villain. That's so cool. it is very helpful indeed. We like that. Now, this is, uh, where are we? Here we go. Nadia Van Dyne, there she is. That's the alter ego. G-I-R-L action. Shuffle up to two cards with a printed science resource from your discard pile into your deck. That's cool. It's baby Spider-Man. Yeah, little baby Spider-Man. Um, like a, what do they call them? Pop vinyl thingies. Now, the good thing about this, Charlotte, that you don't know about with the Ant-Man is that with Ant-Man and Wasp, you've got uh, Genius, okay, which is the alter ego. You've got the hero form, which is tiny. See tiny there? Okay. Mm. And then you've got a little bit of this. What? Wasp 
giant. <laughs> you can't see Charlotte's reaction, but it is priceless. Her jaw has hit the floor. So you've got two thwart, two attack, three defense. Threat you remove using your basic thwart power can be divided among schemes as you choose. Wow. I can't stop this thing. That's so good. So she can do multiple uh, attack, multiple schemes at once. Damage you deal can attack amongst so enemies as you choose. So she can assign damage. She does two damage, but you can assign one to a minion and one to someone else. That's fantastic. So if you boost her basic attack rating, you can mix it up and attack multiple enemies at once without having to do multiple attacks. How cool is that? So you've got here uh, Alter Ego Form, Tiny Hero Mode, and Giant Hero Mode I as well. I know what you could do to make it just easy. You could just like that so you don't have to flip it around. <laughs> well, no, because that's that's the form you're in. Because if you're in um, Alter Ego Mode, the villain doesn't attack you, villain schemes. But you can change between any of those forms and modes. And I do love the giant oversized card. I think that's awesome. We'll leave that's that on display. really awesome. Isn't that's that cool? I know. I told you it was fantastic. All right, let's have a look here. We've got Ant-Man. So this is the Ant-Man hero card. So if you have uh, Ant-Man out here and the team-up card with Ant-Man in play, uh, you can use that ability as well, which is awesome. Uh, it is a unique thing. So I don't know how that would go if you're playing as Ant-Man and someone else is playing as Wasp because you can't have multiple cards in each other's decks. No. So that would be interesting. Yes. Uh, while you're in giant hero form, Ant-Man gains the giant trait as well and gets one attack. Mm -hmm. While you're in tiny hero form, Ant-Man gets one thwart. That's cool. It's got three life as well. So, it costs four, though. So it's expensive. he has two attack, he'll get... One more attack to do more, more damage. Attack to three attack. Now, just a reminder, folks, we are shooting in high def, so if you want to stop, we're going to breeze through these cards. Uh, if you want to stop and have a look at the text, you can just pause the video as well. Uh, giant help. Well, that makes sense, doesn't it? Remove three threat from this a scheme, a four threat divided among schemes as you choose if you're in giant form. Wow. Uh, then you've got pinpoint strike, uh, deal seven damage to an enemy Whoa. for three costs. That's, that's, that's awesome. Yeah, that's... If you're in tiny hero form, this attack deals one additional damage to that enemy and gains overkill. Wow, so if you've got a, a minion you're fighting who's on one health mm. and you play this card in tiny form, mm. you'll do eight damage, one to the minion and seven to the main villain. Wow, that's, that's huge. I can see what's going to happen. I'll be playing as Ant-Man and Charlotte's going to be playing as Wasp and we're going to take it to the vine. We're just going to smash all the bad guys. Rapid growth. When you use one of your hero's basic powers, change your giant hero form and get two to that power for this use. Wasp Sting. That's what we're talking about. Uh, if you're in giant hero form, deal a total of four damage. Divide among as many enemies as you choose. Deal five damage for in tiny. There's benefits of being tiny but mighty. We like that. Pim particles. Heal two damage from a hero form. That was in the Ant-Man pack, I think, as well. Uh, Red Room training. While you're in giant hero form, you gain retaliate one, which means you can do damage back to people when they attack you. Uh, basic attacks gain piercing if you're tiny, so you can bypass all toughness cards. Biosynthetic wings. Get the aerial trait. And you get interrupts when you would take any amount of damage if you're in tiny hero form exhaust this and prevent one of that damage a helmet for wasp gives you one thwart when you're in giant form and one attack when tiny you just want to be tiny the whole time my gosh you can just stack up the points oh there's thor but it's female thor it's jane foster thor so the love and um carnage one the new thor movie where it's going to be jane it's going to be thor i think that sort of uh, ties in with that which is awesome wasp and she costs zero what? So this is Janet Van Dyne. If you've seen uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp, you'll know um, who she is. Um, Janet Van Dyne is obviously um, current Wasp's mum. Uh, Wasp gets plus one hit point for each Pym counter on her. When Wasp enters play, place one, maximum three. So she's got zero health as well, but she costs zero to play. You have to beef her up, though. Into the fray, deal six damage to a minion. Ouch. For each point of excess damage dealt by this attack, remove one threat from the main scheme. Oh my gosh, so many cards. I'm wondering whether Wasp is a bit OP. Surprise attack after you change form, deal three damage to an enemy, four damage if you pay for this card using an aggression resource. One costs one, and that's an event card, which you can use to take stuff off of a scheme yeah, based on the hero card. All this all this a power of aggression, yeah, we know about that. Boot camp. Each ally you control gets one attack. Wow. 
That's a good booster card. Lie in wait. Uh, after a minion engages you, discard lie in wait and deal three damage to that minion. So if you draw an encounter card is, and a minion comes into play, you can pretty much knock nice. them off in one go. That's awesome. Ooh. Iron Heart. After you draw and play Iron Heart from your hand, you get to draw a card. Who's Iron Heart? That's like another, it's one of Tony Stark's um, folks. That's uh, Riri Williams. Oh, Miles Morales, Spider Man. That's awesome. Three uh, health, uh, costs three to play, one thwart, two attack. After you play Spider Man from your hand, choose thwart or attack. Spider Man gets plus two to the chosen power until the end of the phase. I'm, I'm still born. Swarm tactics. Charlotte's lost her mind. She loves it. Uh, energy, genius, I, strength, I, power I, in all of us. Uh, double the number of resources this card generates when paying for a basic card. My mind just pulled out of my head. I know. Queen Carrier. I think this is uh, generate a wild resource. Okay, here we go. Red Dreams. Give to the Nadi of Andyne player. That's her obligation based on the Red Room um, training. And then we're getting into Mother's Orders, the side scheme. Uh, Mother has sent one of her most devious henchmen after Wasp uh, as an additional cost for each attack. Each hero to make a basic attack, that hero must spend one of any resource. Ouch! So whenever you attack, you've got to discard a resource card as well. Ouch. Danger. And then you've got Beetle, who's a minion. So if you had that lying in wait card, this guy comes out, you'd do three damage before he'd even had a chance. And it's a guard. The box. That's right. Now this one, the one that's Beetle Armor there. That's tech. Attached to Beetle if able. That's Beetle Mania. This card gains Surge, more Beetle Mania, and then we've got stop. the deck listing as well. Stop. Yeah, so this card here, for those of you who haven't seen them, is just saying this is not part of the main deck. You can use those for deck building. So that's the deck list for Wasp, is a pre built deck. Now, these ones here are extra cards that are in the um, deck of cards. The last, um, these are the last little bits. So these are ones you can use for deck building when you make your own deck, like you've made your Black Panther deck. Charlotte has built a Black Panther deck. Yeah. And yeah, it is amazing. Yeah, I built a Captain America deck that I'm very, very happy to say is kicking some serious ass, but that's just what happens. Captain America and aggression, it just, it's a good time. Uh, running interference has a bit of Black Widow action for you. Thwart, play only if your identity has the Avenger trait. Remove two threat from the main scheme. Remove additional X additional threat equal to the villain's stage number. Nice. Three of those, all for one. Look at him. Captain America just means business. Deal three damage to an enemy and exhaust any number of adventure characters you control. Deal one damage for each character exhausted this way. Wow, that's a cheap, for two damage, uh, two resources, that's a cheap way to do some serious damage. Perseverance, after you change form, give your hero a tough status card. Nice. Get tough, get small but mighty. Athletic conditioning, discard one stun or confuse status card from your hero. That's quite a cool, so you spend one resource to get rid of it, and that is it. Hey. I know, lots of cards, isn't it? That's awesome. My goodness, so many. So many cool cards. I think we'll play the base deck there, but I think then we'll mix it up a bit, and I'd love to see an Ant-Man and the Wasp playthrough. That would be very cool if we did that, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. yeah All right, we're going to come out, and we're going to give you some final thoughts uh, about our thoughts on this uh, unboxing of this pack. So there it is, folks. I know I say that all the time. There it is. There you have it. That is the contents of the Wasp Hero Pack for Marvel Champions LCG. Um, I know 31 cards. Those are all the cards that can be added in. Uh, I'm bloody excited. I did not think the Wasp was going to have um, that many cards and abilities based on what we've just seen. I think tiny, tiny form is going to be fantastic. There's lots of ways to boost that up. Charlotte likes giant form. I, I like tiny form. We'll see how we go. It's interesting because Scott Lang and the Ant-Man, I think, was a bit more balanced, tiny versus giant, whereas, well, that's in my opinion, uh, whereas Wasp seems to be geared to being small but mighty uh, with a lot of those cards, which I'm really excited about. I think it's awesome. Um, Beetle looks like I could throw a couple of spanners in the works, but not enough. Uh, my concern, I think it's... I, I guess it's going to be something that we'll have to experience in practice. My concern is that Wasp is a bit OP... The way Doctor Strange is a bit OP with his incantation deck, uh, invocation deck. Um, having those spells and everything else as well can be quite um, quite a nice, easy way to dispatch enemies. Having said that, because of the scalable nature of the card game with the player count, we played Kang with three of us and it took us 
two sessions to get through. It was an epic, epic, epic scenario. Um, and uh, I played as Doctor Strange, and even though I had all those powers because of the scaling and with the multiple lost. abilities we did, we lost on the final hurdle, uh, only because we just didn't uh, have enough staying power to get us through. I was the last one still in my place. Charlotte was the last person standing. <laughs> and <laughs> then I... But that's okay, you were defeated, but that's alright, that's the beauty of this game, you always just want to go back once more, and sometimes when it's an epic struggle and you get to that final battle and land that ending blow to defeat the villain, very satisfying indeed um we are probably going to try and get this done as i said i want to try and get a playthrough of ant-man and wasp together uh which we'll, we'll see how that goes um i'm taking the fight to uh, i don't know we'll pick a villain and go from there kang, kang you reckon kang again, oh my gosh wasp. charlotte you're a glutton for punishment kang is tough um, um what I know, I know, I know, we've got lots of damage for Wasp, that's it, so she's excited, I think that's what we're going to do. Um, look, we are going to uh, get this one sorted, we're going to put it away, we're going to do some deck building and things as well. Uh, for those of you that have watched our Arkham Horror LCG, or when I say our, my Arkham Horror LCG, sort of how to buy, how to start your collecting guide, uh, we are thinking of doing one for Marvel Champions as well, uh, only because it is a very involved game and there is a lot of product available, and some people have asked and said, hey... Matt, how do I start my collection? And obviously there's the core set, but there's a lot more to it than that. So we might do one of those for Marvel Champions as well. Me? Well, Charlotte can get involved because obviously the theme is a bit better than Arkham Horror. It's a bit more, a bit more <laughs> friendly. Bad to That's right. I'm not old enough yet. But yeah, we'll see how we go. Uh, we're going to get into some more content as well, obviously, as we move further along some great unboxings and playthroughs and also reviews as well from some of our Kickstarters that we've got. <laughs> we have backed a Kickstarter this morning and, oh, baby, we are so excited for it. It's our first, um, well, look, we won't talk about that. You'll have to check out the January Got You Back for that information. Um, speaking of early access to our videos, thank you very much to all of our Patreon subscribers. We really love all of your support that allows us to keep doing all the fun stuff we get to do. And if you want to jump on board and become one of our members of our gamer army and get exclusive rewards, early access to pre-orders, and even express shipping on all of your orders if you are within Australia, uh, you can check us out at the address on your screen, patreon.com forward slash hbgamingau. Uh, subscribe and get some crazy benefits towards orders and things as well. <laughs> She's being a boss, that's fantastic. Uh, if you have any questions for myself or Charlotte, by all means, pop them in the comments below. We'll get back oh, to them Blair. when we get a moment. If you have questions for Blair as well, don't know how well she'll go answering them. Otherwise, folks, if you want to keep it uh, relatively on the down low, you can always hit us up at orders at hpgaming.com.au. Otherwise, folks, if you want to get your copy of The Wasp, we do still have some limited copies available. All our pre-orders have already shipped. Uh, I think there's like five left in this shipment. We'll see how we go. Uh, you can grab your copy by heading to hbgaming.com.au and grab yours ASAP before they run out and we have to wait again in this crazy pandemic crisis. Other than that, folks, if you are watching in other parts of the world and you're not within Australia, even if you are within Australia and you are struggling, please look after yourselves and each other. Reach out, stay safe, have a chat, keep social. And for those of you who are watching in other parts of the world, our thoughts and prayers, as always, are with you. Please stay safe and help each other through. Um, it's not going to be too far away. Hopefully the vaccines start working and we can start okay, beating back this one. Yeah, hopefully the pandemic is gone uh, okay, soon. It'll be around for a while. Earlier. Charlotte's priority is to get back to school. Mm. But as I said, folks, stay safe and uh, we'll keep back, um, uh, keep gaming and have a lot, have, have heaps of fun and make sure you look after each other. And we'll see you back at the table very soon. But until then, from us, it's bye, bye for now. now.